This video presents an overview of Lido eRoot Manual by Vitanza Systems and its enhanced functions developed in the plan of the FAA Special Activity Airspaces Dissemination Pilot Project, managed by OGC. Lido eRoot Manual is an electronic charting solution developed by Lufthansa Systems to enable a paperless cockpit. It has been in productive use since 2003 and is today installed in various cockpit types and EFB systems of all classes. This operationally approved charting solution is in use by many major airlines worldwide. Lido eRoute Manual features pre-composed electronic charts for commercial aviation during all phases of flight, airport charts, terminal procedure charts, and the in route chart. The easy-to-use charts provide the most up-to-date and reliable aeronautical information and follow a unique color coding design. The intuitive interface of the application and the standardized format Organization and symbology of the charts allow fast and easy perception of relevant navigational details. Many Lido eRoute manual users particularly appreciate integrated, seamless global in route chart featuring dynamic data loading and automatic change of projection. All aeronautical features on the map are individually identifiable by name or ICAO code and are organized in map layers that can be turned on and off easy adjustment of the map layout. In addition, each feature is linked to a record in the underlying database that contains detailed operational information. In the course of the Special Activity Airspaces project, the data access functionality has been extended to retrieve airspace definition and reservation data from the OGC Web Feature Service and Event Service. When a route is entered manually or loaded, a geographical query consisting of the route corridor is sent to the WFS, to which the server replies with a set of special use airspaces intersecting with the corridor. This set is integrated with eRoute Manual's internal database. In addition, a subscription based on the same geographical filter for airspace reservation updates is registered with the Event Service. When a new airspace activation is published, the event service notifies eRoute Manual, and the airspace reservation is integrated into the airspace record. In the next part of the video, the newly developed functionality is demonstrated by a realistic flight scenario. In the flight preparation, a previously computed and prepared flight plan is loaded for a flight from Chicago to Los Angeles. In the background, up-to-date SUA data is retrieved from the SAA WFS. This data is seamlessly integrated with the other aeronautical data in eRoute Manual's charting database and can now be accessed via the warning area function. This function lists all SUAs ordered along the flight route. Selecting an entry from the list displays a highlighted overlay of the airspace shape on the en route map. An extra column in the list displays the time remaining to the next activation of the SUA. For each SUA, the activation availability schedule and all approved individual reservations are also listed textually in the details window. This restricted area is active right now, but it does not affect the planned flight because it is defined in an altitude block lower than the planned cruising level, flight level 330. The jump to button can be used to center the map on the airspace in order to see where it is located. While airborne, the airspace activation data is kept up to date by notifications from the event service. Sometime into the flight, a reservation change for one of the sewers along the route is received. By selecting the notification entry, the sewer shape is highlighted on the map and the sewer can thus be easily identified. Pressing the info button brings up the details window for the sewer, where we can see that the airspace does actually contain the cruising level. Now, the details window also contains the new reservation period. This new information is also represented in the SUA list, where the respective airspace is now shown with less than 15 minutes to the next activation, which means that it will be active when the aircraft arrives at the restricted airspace. The Jump To button now centers and pans the map, thus that the displayed map section contains the airspace and the current aircraft position. Here we see that the planned route passes by the airspace but does not actually cross it. The 
airspace proximity notification function shown next is made possible only by the availability of the airspace reservation data in eRoute manual. Some hours further into the flight, when approaching the active SUA, the pilot gets an airspace proximity notification. Note that it does not come from the event service, but from eRoute manual's internal airspace proximity evaluation function, which is in turn enabled by the data received from the SAA web services. In this case, the notification can be disregarded because the planned flight route avoids the active airspace. Nevertheless, some minutes later, the notification function informs the pilot of the airspace proximity in a higher severity level. The proximity notification persists as long as the aircraft moves within the predefined spatial temporal proximity buffers that define minimal distance between aircraft and the airspace boundaries with respect to lateral and vertical distance as well as time. The functionality demonstrated in this video that has been developed in the FAA SAA pilot project marks a milestone in the advancement of LIDO eRoute manual. Thus, that is the first time that highly dynamic data is received and integrated with the static charting database, which is a fundamental requirement for advanced functions like the airspace proximity notification. It was made possible by the standards-based design of the infrastructure based on OGC Web Services and Aeronautical Information Exchange Model version 5, which allowed for the development of open and reusable interfaces.